What is happening? All right, welcome back to Seven Star Fitness. My name is Keegan, and today we got a bit of a special issue uh, that we're going to be doing, or I guess a special episode that we're going to be doing. So today, I decided I wanted to go through TikTok and uh, kind of dissect, decipher, interact with some of the content on a major creator's page. This has a lot to do with the fact that I feel like the fitness industry, especially when it comes to social media, is rife with a lot of people who I would just coin as pretenders, fakers, charlatans, you know, you, you get the idea. The basic point here is that there are a lot of people on social media, especially TikTok, if I'm just going to be real about it, who are they're promoting a lot of absolute nonsense and their content is straight garbage but it's getting crazy views which is really just confusing a lot of people out there maybe you're one of those people who's seen tiktok and just found themselves absolutely mind-boggled by what they saw so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to interact with william lee's content here william lee has 3.4 million followers and a lot of videos almost every single one of which looks to be him shirtless so today we're going to look at his content watch it, react to it, and I'm going to basically tell you what's real, what's bullshit as I'm interacting with it. So why don't we dive right into it? I'm going to try to keep this brief, put 10 minutes on the clock here, and I'm going to start it, and then we're just going to go. All right, so I'll start the timer as soon as we hit the first video. So let's get ready. Three, two, one. Kids, if you want to lose weight, make sure you save these three diet hacks. Tip number one is to start consuming psyllium husk powder. Mix a spoon of this into your water and it turns into this gel-like substance. Drinking this helps you feel full and it's full of fiber. I like drinking this before a meal. Tip number two is to force yourself to do 10 push-ups every time you eat something that's not part of your diet. Tip number three is going to be helpful for those like me who love eating at night or end up snacking because I can't sleep. The tip is to take Delta sleep. It puts me out like a baby so I can't cheat on my diet. Check it out in the link in my profile. Okay, so starting off relatively strong here. So he has three fitness hacks. So the first one here, let's just make it real simple here. The first one that he says, the psyllium husk thing, it actually has some legitimacy when it comes down to the actual science behind what he's saying here. Yes, psyllium fiber will help you feel more full. That being said, if I remember the research that I've done on this correctly, um, it is actually pectin that has the highest impact on your feeling of uh, fullness. So if you're looking to really make an impact on your overall feeling of satisfaction and fullness and you know, not wanting to actually eat any more after you're finished eating what you've set out for your meal, pectin actually gonna be better for you, but psyllium will not be bad for you. So first one, you're, you're on point, good job. Well done, William. The second thing, is doing push-ups every time he eats something or wants to eat something that he he doesn't he's not supposed to be eating this idea of creating food and punishment and tying emotion and reward to food is just absolutely asinine it's not something we should be doing you should not be doing it when it comes to creating meal plans that are meant to help you reach a specific goal, it should be structured around foods you want to eat, foods you like to eat, and proportions that will help you reach your goal. Uh, of course, taking it slow and steady and building yourself up so that you can have it be sustainable, manageable, maintainable. But by no means should you be tying the idea of eating to you know reward and punishment. It doesn't do anything for the people who already have deep emotional ties to eating and food and who find themselves making a lot of bad decisions or less than optimal decisions when it comes to their attempts to eat in a way that helps fuel their body and not overeat or overconsume, especially overeating, overconsuming foods that may not necessarily help them reach their fitness goals, things like chips and cookies and whatnot. So changing, you know, the way you speak about food is helpful. Changing the way you approach the actual eating and your, your meal plans is also going to be helpful, but creating reward and punishment systems is not something I agree with. The last thing, when he talks about people who get hungry at night, now I'm one of those people who gets hungry late at night. Yes, I suppose you could buy a supplement to help you get to sleep faster so that you don't eat you know that's very much a thing but here's the problem i find with that concept it's the idea that he happens to be doing this specifically to sell you his product if you can't see that then you've obviously been bamboozled here he's a hundred percent trying to direct you towards making this purchase he, he's trying to make a buck off you uh, i mean game recognized game but 
I, I gotta point out what I see here, which is there are there are other ways to do this, and they don't have anything to do with you know buying a supplement to help you get to sleep, especially his supplement Delta Sleep or whatever the hell it is. Um, if you're looking to tackle this issue, I mean, what you could do is you could also structure some really hearty, filling, nutritious foods that could be at the end of your day as sort of you know snacks or like end of day treats that don't necessarily go outside of what it is that you're planning on eating in the first place and as a result help you stay on task but help you feel full at the end of the night just shift where you place some of these things and all of a sudden boom it's going to make a bigger difference it's going to help you a lot more now is that the only way to deal with this no but i also don't think that you know buying a supplement is necessarily has to be the first move so you can also meditate to help you calm down improving sleep hygiene can also help you get to sleep faster i'm just saying free ways to do this that don't have anything to do with buying his delta sleep supplement anyway let's move on to the next one and see what we got we only got like four minutes we're only like halfway through jeez I'm, I, it's gonna take me a while to do this guy because he has a lot of videos and apparently i have a lot to say about them but anyways second one here and this one is on creatine Ooh, my expertise let's go i'm ready for this guy all right starting in three two one I just hopped on creatine. What should I expect? King, I just want to start off by saying you made a great choice and be patient because for the first few weeks, you won't feel much of anything because you'll be in the loading phase. As creatine slowly saturates your muscles, you'll find it easier to be able to lift more weight and do a few extra reps. On top of the gains you'll be making, your muscles will look even bigger because creatine makes them store more water. And if you want to keep these benefits, all you have to remember to do is take five grams of creatine every day around the same time. The creatine that I use is linked to my profile. I just hopped on creatine. All right, so second one here on creatine, filled with a lot more reasonable and then legitimate information than I thought it was going to be filled with. Uh, so he talks about one, the idea that you're not gonna feel something right away. Two, the fact that you're gonna need to take it every day. Three, the fact that you need five grams if you're, I can't remember what the, the weight he said was, but if you're five grams, three grams if you're under 120 eight grams if you weigh more than 200 i'm pretty sure it's actually closer to nine um if you weigh around 200 if you should be measuring this out based on so there's some very clear math on this and i have a video on this i will link right now uh so head over check that out but i give you the dosages on this and tell you how to optimize the usage of creatine both via dosage and when to take it and what to take it with so you know this math is a little off but you know it's not so far off that it's going to leave you without any benefits um super weird for him to be jabbing his chest so furiously with a pen or a marker or whatever it was and of course at the end leading you right back to his products he's definitely trying to sell you stuff that much is made very clear by just these two videos alone so i hope that didn't go over anybody's head um creatine monohydrate for those of you wondering is creatine monohydrate you don't need a special one you don't need his particular creatine monohydrate it's all the same damn shit it's all the same as long as it is coming from a reputable manufacturer, which so many supplement stores are not messing with anything but reputable manufacturers, you're going to have creatine monohydrate that will definitely achieve its purpose. So that part, you know, I'm solid. Uh, also, yeah, you're not going to feel anything in the first little bit. The loading phase is something that is going to be, you're going to experience if you're taking creatine. Uh, if you're taking it like five grams a day, about three or four weeks. If you're taking it about 25, it's about, it should be a closer to 25 grams per day uh, for about f five to seven days in order for you to reach full saturation for a loading phase, then yeah, then that's you, that's how long it takes for full saturation. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the next video, shall we? King, here's a full gym workout that I use to grow my chest and triceps. Feel free to save this. Start off with two light sets of warm-up bench, then four sets of six flat bench working sets. I like to use around 80% of my one rep max as my weight. Take a two to three minute rest in between sets. Then four sets of 10 incline bench. Then three sets of 12 incline cable flies. Then three sets of 10 rope tricep extensions. Superset it with 10 overhead tricep extensions. Then three sets of 10 skull crushers. Do the last set till failure. Then four sets of dips. Last set till failure. Then one set of regular push-ups till failure like and follow for more workouts king 
You don't need any one person's particular workout for bigger chest. Or chest. You just need to know what muscle groups to hit in order to stimulate the muscle, and then just follow simple principles like progressive overload and you know using multiple angles to work the the muscle in especially lengthened positions. Which there's a lot of evidence to support the validity of that approach to training. Um, and of course, workouts that are going to effectively hit the muscle, give you full range of motion, allow you to get tension across the entirety of the motion, or at least most of it, so you can really stimulate the muscle as much as humanly possible and encourage growth, encourage uh, hypertrophy in the muscle. You don't need this guy's particular workout program. Also, a lot of his methodologies are like supersetting. I don't think are really necessary. Uh, of course, this depends on like how often you're gonna work triceps in a week, but I would argue a lot of what he's doing here is unnecessary. Also, this guy looks like he's like, what, 130 pounds soaking wet? This dude does not look like he's gigantic and it's super easy to look ripped and huge when you're that size. Just saying, I'm not trying to take away from him, just saying it creates an illusion which then facilitates this idea that makes you feel like you're inadequate because you're not measuring up to this guy. Again, damn, that was fast. So let's just wrap it up with him. Soaking wet, he's not that heavy. He looks like a pretty small guy. It's really easy for guys like this to look a lot bigger than they actually are. Anyhow, uh, that brings us to the end of this. I, I wanna do this again, cause I feel like this is light work. This is easy. And he's got more stuff about creatine and like workouts that I wanna critique. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna do this again, I think. If you enjoyed this, head down below. Let me know in the comments if there's any other TikToker you'd love to see me hit their page and just run through their content, please comment section let me know let, just put down names all right i i'd love to hear from you guys um what did you think of this have you seen any of this content what did you think of it uh i'd love to hear from you guys anyhow that'll do it for today uh hopefully i'll be back with another one of these very soon uh but until then stay shining because guys you can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace <laughs>